Hello, Marcel. Hello, no, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, my name's Aileen, and you're Marcel Drexel. Yeah, that's correct. And you're doing so for. Yeah. Okay, is that your ID? Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. That's great. And your I your yeah. exam form. Thank you very much. So, um, what what have you chosen to talk about? What area? Um, I'm talking about uh, information technology and communication. Okay. So that's number six. So we're going to start with your topic presentation, and you have eight minutes for that. Then we'll move on to the topic discussion, and then we'll finish with discussion of a different topic area. First, firstly, I will uh, give you an overview on which ways communication has improved. Mm -hmm. uh, in the second part, I will talk about the different types um, to communicate in a business. Mm -hmm. In the third part, I will talk about um, the different barriers which can occur in a communication. And uh, finally, I will share my view on this subject. Okay. Um, since ancient times, people um, have sent messages all over the world. And if the distance was very great, it could have taken several um, weeks until the receiver uh, got the message. Mm -hmm. Now in our time to send information um, um, has never been as easy bef has never been as easy and fast as before because um, the improvement of the information technology um, uh, the, the information technology has repeatedly improved over the last 20 years for example the computers the mobile phones and the internet had a breakthrough in the 90s and with them it's um, uh, it's very easy to send information and extremely fast around the world to whoever you want and that's why they are so popular, because we use them every day in our work and in our social life. And this improvement also changed um, the way to communicate in business. And there are four different types to communicate. The first is the verbal communication, the use of words in meetings, group discussions, uh, telephone calls. The second one is the uh, non-verbal communication, the use of your body language. It's it's um, connected with the verbal communication. It makes it easier for people to understand you. Um, the third one is the written communication. Everything which is written uh, in paper form, like reports, um, letters, emails. And the fourth one is the electronic uh, communication, which is the modern way uh, to communicate nowadays. Um, uh, it uses the the computers uh, such as the internet to communicate like video conferencing and also email would also be a part of electronic mm -hmm. communication and it's very important for a business to have a fast and solid information flow to compete with other companies because customers uh, want the products as soon as possible uh, however the fastest information flow doesn't matter if the receiver doesn't understand the content of the message um, for example, sometimes it, occur, it occurs that um, the sender forgets to send some more information which the receiver needs or the receiver doesn't really understand the meaning of the message. So um, there might be some um, um, barriers in the communication. Um, for example, uh, the physical barrier. Um, you can also see the environment at the workplace. For example, if the equipment is not up to date, um, like the Microsoft Office software, so you can't open uh, files if the another file is from a new software. Or uh, maybe there are some background noises at your workplace, so you couldn't understand the telephone call very well. And another barrier would be the attitudinal barrier if uh, some person got um, personal problems and this can result in delaying or um, refusing to communicate with other people. Um, moreover, there is the uh, organization barrier. If the structure of the company isn't very clear to, uh, to a person, so he doesn't know to which, people, to which person he should go if there is a problem. It should be clear for everyone. And another one is the individual uh, linguistic ability. Uh, some people um, have a 
special jargon in a special subject and some other people uh, doesn't have this uh, jargon so they won't understand what you're talking about so you should uh, use easy words who are understandable for everyone and there is also the physiological uh, barrier um, some people are disabled uh, for example they have um, hearing difficulties or uh, poor eye Side, so you have to change uh, the way you communicate with them. And the last one would be is uh, the um, the ambiguity of words or phrases. Um, some words or phrases have um, different meanings, and it should be clear um, which um, which of the meanings uh, you mean and. Uh, if it's possible, you should avoid um, some, uh, such words so that everybody understands um, what you want to say. And uh, in my opinion, um, communication is the most important thing in business and also in our life because we communicate uh, every day at almost every time. And it is necessary because if you want something, um, you have to communicate with the people, otherwise you can't get it. And to uh, improve the communication business, uh, I would say it would be good um, if the management give intro courses how to uh, improve the communication with other people and uh, that there are no misunderstandings can occur during communication. Thank you. Um, now I'd like to discuss some of the points you've made. Okay, yeah. Uh, which points uh, do we want to discuss? Oh, well, um, Perhaps you could um, tell me if there's are there any areas you think were particularly pertinent. Sorry, but uh, any areas that you thought were particularly important uh, to improve. Um, yeah, I think um, the telephone calls. Um, you should um, be in an office where there are no background noises, so that you can clearly understand. Uh, other person. Well, yes, but don't you think that um, it's almost inevitable that there's going to be background noise in a modern office? Uh, no, not really. But um, it's also important the equipment, as as I mentioned, it should be uh, up to date. The software. Right, and and would that have an impact on the level of noise that you could have? A level? Of, what do you mean exactly? Well, uh, you, you said that um, d the background noise would be a distraction, but don't you think that that's a matter of um, having up-to-date equipment? No, no, it's not, not, uh, not the same, but um, the background noise are uh, only uh, the problem if you um, um, have a telephone call. Right. But um, I think uh, also a bigger problem would be the equipment. Your software has to be up-to-date, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. the software like um, Microsoft Office to open Word files, um, Excel files because uh, other companies um, are also doing updates and you have to um, go, go with the flow and otherwise you can't um, compete with them. No, I, <coughs> I do understand what you mean there. But uh, I mean, it's said that non-verbal communication accounts for much more than, than verbal communication. Yeah, um, if you use your body language, um, people um, can understand you um, easier, I think, because you can um, show dimensions. Um, when, I, for example, it's like it was this bit, this large. Um, they have, they can imagine this. It was like this, and it makes it easier to understand you. And also, if there are disabled people uh, who, who um, have um, difficulties to hear, you have to use your body language to explain something to them. So right. it's very necessary. Yes, yeah, so you did talk about um, coping with, with things if, if you have disabled people, but um, don't you think that that's uh, an issue for management, that they should be willing to change, change the way they operate in order to accommodate disabled people in the workplace? Yeah, and they, they should, um, if there is some disabled people in the company, um, they should also let uh, other people know and with this one you have to communicate this way and if um, someone has a lack of communication in body language, um, maybe give him a, a curse how to communicate uh, very well with him and yeah, 
the management should um, give courses to the, the um, employees. Right. What sort of thing did you have in mind? Um, to show them uh, what what the common mistakes in communica uh, communications are mm -hmm. and how to um, prevent them. Uh, and, and would that vary from company to company, or would it always be the same thing? Uh, it would all be, always be the same thing, I guess, because um, every company has to face the same barriers, the mm -hmm. same hindrances, mm -hmm. and yeah, it would be much the same. Right. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's have a look at. Um, you talked about individual ling linguistic ability yeah. and. Um, ambiguity of words. Uh, now that we're talking about a more globalised workforce, um, what, what implications would that have? Yeah, uh, with the language, mm. that would be the first problem. Um, so it should be, um, uh, for example, uh, nowadays it's English um, to communicate with other companies in, in other countries. Mm -hmm. So you, you should improve your English skills and yeah, I think, um, or you should learn a, another la a language to um, communicate with uh, this company. Mm -hmm. And it, it also, um, the management um, should also, um, um, how can I say this, um, give courses to improve your uh, language skills um, because they need people, if, you d if they need people to communicate with a different language. And, right. yeah. Do well, you agree with me? <laughs> uh, uh, definitely, I yeah. think. Um, well, thank you very much for that. Topic presentation. Grade awarded, C. Key area for improvement, communication skills. Marcel initiates the presentation with an introduction and outline that commences with suitably formal language. However, the flow is halted by hesitancy and Marcel frequently searches for words. Although informative, the presentation fails to be discursive and there is neither a conclusion nor an invitation for the examiner to present questions. However, there was a fair degree of subject-specific lexis. The presentation again receives a borderline C. Topic Discussion Grade awarded D Key areas for improvement Communication skills and grammar. During the discussion, Marcel struggles to understand some of the examiner's language, and there is little evidence of the communication skills or language functions of the level. He fails to engage the examiner by inviting questions or encouraging comment, and doesn't develop the discussion. Although the communication proceeds fairly smoothly, the task is not fulfilled owing to the simplicity of language and lack of engagement.